Howdy folks, Tex of the Black Pants Legion here. It's gonna be a very slow, boring shift, maybe. Or maybe not. It's Space Station 13, so one can never quite tell. But I'm hoping it'll be a nice, easy shift. I'm recording this during the uh, COVID quarantine, so I'm off work way earlier than I should be because I don't have the hell commute, so... Uh, I'm getting to enjoy more Spacemans, and I've decided to shoot a bunch of episodes and dole them out slowly. So you're seeing a good Spaceman episode probably shot a month or two ago, but uh, I hope you guys enjoy. So here we go. I've sent myself to be the chief engineer, but uh, if they don't let me be the chief engineer, that's fine. <clears throat> it's also the morning it is morning time. It's before my work starts. Alright, I am the chief engineer. Nice. Let's go ahead and open this up and get our stuff out. Get our utility belt. And let's pick that up and put that on. And put this, uh, put that there. Put that there. Put that in there. Put that in there. Take this engineering book. You don't need that. You don't need any of that shit. Wow, that is just spinning. That is... That is worrying. All right. Uh -uh. Chief Engineer here. Engineers, get ready for Hellburn. Do not touch anything yet. Watch him go touch things. Yeah, he's, he's going to touch stuff. I do not know how to do it. Okay, then watch. I'll show you. This is gonna help a new person. I, I did a lot of uh, mentoring, uh, not not official mentoring. I didn't join mentor chat or anything, but uh, I've been doing hands-on training with new spacemen for a while. Show them how to do some of the fun stuff here and there, letting them explore the game. I really wanted to show people the majesty of this versus just murder bone simulator. Uh-oh. He doesn't want to have people get set on fire. Well, that's his problem. Or her problem. I'm not worried about it. I don't even have my tools. I'm not even prepared. That's funny. Mining here. If you hear a series of large explosions... Yeah, it's mining, so we're going to pick this up and do that. I mean, mining's doing what mining does. Alright, time to set our fuel mix. This should be pretty easy. Just put things together and let the engine spin up. Or at least the cold blue. And then we take our little happy toolbox here. Oh. Thanks, bud. Setting the solar panels. That buys me a few minutes. But yeah, some people have gotten a little salty that I've been showing people how to do hell burns. Um, because they think that's a turbo secret. And I don't think it is. At all. I think the turbo secret is trying to show everybody how to do all the death kims and what have you. Because that's just murder bony stuff. And that's fine. I mean, everyone needs to know how to murder bone now and then. I can be re remarkably uh, robust. I, ooh, wow. I can be remarkably robust when I'm not talking. When I just play the game, yeah, I can kill just as well as anyone. But I found that's not... A good use of my time in Space Station 13. Get a spacesuit. I'm gonna decompress engineering. But yeah, um, I, I, I don't find that's a good use of my time in Space Station 13. I, th I think that there's a lot more 
fun things to do in this game. I think this game sucks as a PvP game, and by that I mean player versus player. I think the real majesty of Space Station 13 is PvP in the sense of player versus paranoia. I love the idea of you having to wonder whether that guy next to you is a monster or a being from another planet or really just a guy out there to get some meatballs, you know? You never know. You do not know. Can we set it to deconstruct? Where are the spacesuits? North Engineering. We're gonna we're gonna walk him through easy peasy. This isn't like TG Engineering where uh, you know you set it and forget it and then baby it a little bit. This Goon Engineering is kind of a next tier engineering. The TEG is kind of one of the the big boys of Space Station 13 in terms of um, achievements, I should say. And I'm not just saying that because I can run it. It took me a long time to learn how to run this fucking thing without flooding it. I still flood it on other stations and it doesn't work right. The TEG is a mother. And you should... Wow. Nice. Map vote. But yeah, um, you should learn to hellburn. You should, all engineers should learn to hellburn. Yeah, I, I think that that's absolutely important. Um, I, I think that's a, that's a good skill to have as a spaceman. I think that it's a fun skill to have as a spaceman. And, uh, I, I think if you don't learn to do some of these crazier things, you're just cheating yourself. I think that, you know, you'll, you'll not have the fun you can have and you'll feel sad because it is fun. It's a lot of fun to do stuff like this. But not just that. I mean, shit, telescience. Oh, what a wild fucking ride. And, uh, Kim, I mean, find your little thing in Space Station 13 you want to do, and just play it. And learn it. What is this person doing? Hey. We're hell burning in here. What are you doing? I'm trying to teach my intern. Alright. Well... Get me the other RCD, please. If you don't mind. Eh. I got a job, Chun. Med is too full. Oh, well, I can understand that. Oh, cool. Nice. Why, why is it spinning? Oh my god, it's spinning there. Thanks. But yeah, um, a lot of engines in Space Station 13 are way easy. They're way, way easy to work on. They're not at all. I'm, I'm ignoring the taser. Oh, God. Alert. Alert. AI is now. Hello. The automatic diagnostic and announcement system welcomes you to the Black Mesa Research Facility. Remember, have a secure day. Oh, God. So yeah, um, you gotta learn. You gotta learn a job. And Space Station 13 has a lot of jobs. I think Goon has the best engine. I think the Super Matter is, is way easy compared to the Goon TEG. Um, but then again, Goon used to have just the Singulum. Set it up, walk away. And then they just made it crazier. Thanks, is there anything you want to do? Within reason, of course. Um, I'm just doing a harmless engine run super harmless the captain's asking do you want to do anything and uh you know just super, super harmless engine run this is not a hellburn yet um engineering crew uh stand by for evacuation of air all right, now that we got that, ignition set, heat shield down, vent open, and then make sure the heat shield, or the vent actually open. Did the vent open? Yeah, we're good. All right. Cool, cool, cool. 
So yeah, um, I think the TEG on Goon is probably your hardest engine to run. Or it's easy to run, it's hard to master. It's hard to figure out. And I have not mastered it. Like, you watch me play this on Cogmap 2, I'll blow it up every single time. I'll, I'll blow it up every single time. I mean, I, I'm a complete and total moron for that. Uh, you'll, you'll see me fuck that up like a hundred times out of a hundred. Not an expert on that. And I still fuck this one up. I'll still be like, oh yeah, I forgot to turn a valve. You know, I mean, just stupid stuff. Really stupid stuff. We're turning them purge valves off. I don't need those. No, that pressure can stay where I put it. Like a sir. Now, if you really, really want to get this engine running like super duper hot, what you do is you get a team of friends to work together to Hellburn. You make a Hellburn team, which can be pretty cool. Um, and that's when things get really wild. And this thing is still spinning. Why is it spinning? Oh my god. What are we even doing? It's called a Hellburn. Watch and learn. Make sure your air is on, kid. Oh yeah. Stupid thing. I gotta pull this open. There we go. See, I don't I don't mind somebody asking questions. We're all learning here. I mean I'm learning here. But if you got a team learning a hellburn, oh man, is that fucking cool. That is too cool for school. Alright, so engine should start throttling up. I gotta put some holes in this room, otherwise the gas go boom boom. And uh, that's usually a bad sign for everybody. And I will answer his questions. I'm gonna help people out. And by help, I mean expose them to dangerous amounts of temperature, heat, and uh, potentially uh, death. So, yeah, there we go. Alright, engine is spooled. So, uh, now we wait. The hellburn part of it is being patient. And why the fuck is that spinning so much? I'm just... Yeah, alright, here we go. Alright. Attention, sh oh wait, uh, mm -mm. attention crew, engine is started. Alright, so, we got the engine running, we got everything running, let's turn these SMEs up. But yeah, if, if you want to play Goon Station, go play Goon Station, learn Goon Station, learn the fun differences in jobs, and have a good time. Don't worry about it. Some people worry about, oh, I'm going to fuck up. Oh, I'll get banned. Well, as long as you're not a shitbird, you probably shouldn't be banned. If you're a shitbird, you get banned. But, I mean, blowing up the station is part of it. If you blow up the station as an engineer, shit. Most of the time, they go, I'm proud of you. You tried. That's, that's what they say. They don't scream too much. Well, they do sometimes. I mean, it, the screams tend to carry. But yeah. Engine started. This has all the potential to be a hellburn, so we're passing 727 kilowatts. Uh, the station draw is not a lot. I mean, the whole station runs off of seemingly less than 500 kilowatts, unless they're running some really stupid experiments or the teleporter. And I would recommend... Checking out telescience. Um, if if you like fucked up nightmare science and you you like all sorts of terrible calamity, I would absolutely uh, welcome you to try telescience. If you're good with math, telescience can be pretty fun. If you're bad with math, telescience can be very fun. You can actually teleport stuff around. You you can be like, oh, I'm gonna steal that guy's lunchbox. Teleport. You can also open alternate dimensions and walk through them. Seems like nobody nobody was uh, wanting to get in my way, which is cool. 
Nobody really asked too many questions. Which is fine. Pumps are on. Good, good, good. Alright. I don't like that. Somebody turned a valve. I heard it. Double checking my valves. Double checking my valves. Double checking my valves. Because if he starves the engine at any point, that's a problem. No, we're good. Turned a valve somewhere. No, we're all, we're all good. Oh, thank you for your valued service to Nano Trace and Engineering. Yes. Yes, indeed. Valuable services. That's what we do here. Everything is normal. Everything is normal. So, yeah, uh, we should we should be fine. If you can make a megawatt, just a megawatt, you should be all right. And we're making 1.3, so we are ahead of the curve. And even if you funk up and only make a little bit of power, there's another thing you can do, which a lot of people don't realize. There's some fuel storage over here in Cogmap 1. It's in this room. It's in boxes. Jam fuel into these fuckers here and turn them on. That's enough to run the hot loop. Put a one canister on the cold loop and you have an engine running at low subsistence levels of power the whole round. Don't worry about it. Do not worry about it. What we're doing is going to be substantially, uh, more. Hopefully. Alright, the pressure's really high in the cold loop. I mean, really high. Yeah. He's just staring out into space. So here we go. What do we got? Two megawatts. Two megawatts and rising. Hmm. Looks like it's gonna be a hell burn. Nice. Well. Suppose we just watch for broken pipes and fix when we can and go from there you got your welder ready because if we burst the pipes too early that's a fuck up but uh you know other than that we should be fine cool beans okay call out if you need help I'll go start the PTL shortly. It's all about little things, having fun, you know? That's that's what it's about. And if, you know, I mean, some people don't realize this, but I have the guide open over here on the right. I have the map over here on my right monitor, just off screen. So if you don't know something, don't worry about it. Oh, cool, you set the laser up. Nice. Hmm. What's the PTL set at? Let's let's make sure that we're not drowning all the power. Yeah, we're not. Uh, right. I'm sitting on the board. Usually, if you have a Hellburn team, you've got a guy over here doing damage control and gas mix. You have a guy over here running the PTL. You have a third guy running around, moving stuff. He can be doing damage control. He can be firefighting. He can be doing gas mix. And then you have a guy on the boards. Uh, one megawatt. Okay. Throttle up to five megawatt. Just watching the boards here. We're gonna we're gonna hell burn together. Stop raising ants. Wow. Gotta check my monitoring here. Okay, PTL draw is at three, four. Wow, stop raising ants. How far is this gonna chase us? What is going on out there? What is going on out there? Stop raising ants. That troubles me a little bit. I hear a door being pried open. Looks like the, uh, what, what's, what was that? Okay, it's just a drone. 
I'm, I'm, I was, I was, it's a robot. I'm, I'm just worried when I see things randomly go through my space. I, mmm. All right. Engine output is now at nine megawatts and rising. All right, let's go ahead and do this. Uh, throttle engine to, uh, throttle, no. Throttle PTL to 10 megawatts. We're passing 10. All right, let's get this done. This person's fucking with my door. Why... Why are you... Fucking with my door? I mean... Come on. Not my door. I need that. My door is what keeps assholes outside engineering. Why break it? Well, I gotta do what you gotta do with that ID. Well, that's fair. I'll give you that one. You don't need a key if you're a mechanic. Alright, engine's going well, engine's throttling, engine's throttling. Alright, there's people just wandering through. Alright. Throttle uh, PTL to 15 megawatts. Uh, throttle PTL to 15 megawatts. Wrong channel. Right then, first day around this place. Any clue to how to put together a teleporter? Um, offhand? No. Don't let that stop you, though. Don't let your memes be dreams. That are just goat steel science's teleporter. I mean, that's what I'd do. Go in there and steal it. He's, he's got to break in and out of everywhere because he doesn't have keys. That's fucking great. Just some guy tearing the door apart. Yeah, I don't have keys. That's a good mechanic, man. I think he just welded the door. Alright. Throttle PTL to 25 megawatts. We Alright. Engineering. We are at 35 megawatts power and rising. Any fires to report? I know the fire door is closed, but that's because we have no air. And uh, that, that does that. No air does that. I'm going to have a sip of Missodi. No fires, but pipes are starting to burst. Yeah, yeah. That'll happen. Weld is best able, but don't sweat it. Some pipes will burst, but some gas will still be carried through, so don't don't worry about it. So it looks like uh, we're doing really well. We're at 52 megawatts. We are at 48 megawatts and 54. All right. Throttle PTL to five six or five zero megawatts. I'm on the boards. I'll be doing power call outs from here on out. We're passing sixty five. Sixty seven. Sixty nine. Nice. 73. Yeah, this is this is where we start to have uh, a runaway. Um, and you're gonna you're gonna start to see this engine like really start to howl. So look at the engine jumping right up here, because you have there's the PTL draw, there's the engine output. And then here's our stored power, you know, these are the SMESs. But there's also other SMESs. So there's the AI, AI upload foyer and electrical substations, and then there's the PTL. So this is your total power draw for the whole station. This is where we are. This is where we're getting there. Oh wow, they're doing a book burning in the market. Come see Fahrenheit 451 come true in space. 
Glad the head of security is uh, doing his job to be weird. All right, we're passing 111. Push PTL to 100 megawatts. Hundred and twenty five. So this little um this little dude in here has the your gas mixer control. This is the pressure going into that combustion chamber I set up where I burn the monkey. Which is just kind of a thing. So don't worry. Uh T E G is going nuts. Don't worry about the engine. It's all according to plan. Neo, get out of the pipe area. You did your job. Go get some heals. Um, Neo, rather. Go get some medicine and some, and, uh, some lunch. Alright, he's cranking it to 150. Good, good, good. Yeah, I know the T the engine the the TEG is going insane. Uh oh. All military crew, please service relay three hundred ninety status. Okay, fine. Yeah, I'm gonna build a nano med in here. That's a good call. That's actually a really good call. Passing two hundred megawatts. I know. I'm watching the power board live. Stand by. Let's see where it jumps and uh, then decide an input output for the PTL. All right. Input PTL for 200 megawatts. Output PTL for 150 for now. Let's store some backlog energy for a minute or two. As you can see, the SMESs for the station are at 50% already, which is really, really good. Which means if we have a total power failure, uh, those guys will keep us running for probably an hour or two. All right, so... 400 megawatts. Four twenty. That's the uh guy in there with his three D printer fabricator making stuff. We made epic two twenty nine credits. Somebody go use our credits to get us some drugs. Nobody should be doing this sober. All right, so here we are. No book burning, says the captain. I mean, I, I think that that's just going to happen. We got a nanomed, which is really cool. All right. My box! All right. Put engine... Uh, let's see. All right. Put the PTL to uh, 500 input output at 400. I always try to leave a little bit of lag because in the past when I had an engine yo-yoing, uh, every time it dipped below that point, it was drawing from the SMES and I wasn't charging anything. So I always try to do that. Leave a little bit of leave a little bit of loop, or sorry, a little bit of slack, shall we say? Loads of money. Loads of money. All right, we're about to pass. Yeah, look, 700 megawatts. Nice. Okay, passing 750 megawatts. Go ahead and put the uh, PTL at 750, 750. Then hold it there for a bit while we push over the power curve. They're burning books and stuff. Oh, man. I'll be back in a minute. I have to check on my bacon I'm making. Because I'm multitasking. And I make bacon low and slow. That's where it gets really soft. And melty and delicious. Alright, I'm back. And here's what's really wild. Is, uh... 
Apparently there's a lot of bug burnings going on. There's a spooky ghost in science. There's a lot of things going on in the station. But by the way, if you really want to know in engineering, this is your main power bus control doodad. And you can actually see what is pulling what power. So if there's a power sink or something, you want to find it. This guy can help so much. You, you can really go, okay, who's taking my fucking power? But you can also see the cells in the local power network. You know, the little handy-dandy guy in the wall that controls the power for the doors and everything. And uh, this is your area power. So if you see one of these start to dip, you can go, ah, they've got a bad cell. Someone fucked with it. Uh, someone's doing bad. But as you can see, there's all sorts of, this is your load for power. And you can see everything going on. So, always come and look at this. No, not really. Look at it like once in a while. Once in a while. Don't worry about it. We have reached two gigawatts since the end of poverty. No. The future is now. Alright, we're passing 2.454 gigawatts. I've told the guy in the PTL to just keep adjusting, keep goosing it, you know. Getting it done. And, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's go on down and, uh, withdraw some of our big old station budget while the engine does whatever. And, uh, we should have a fun time. We're going to cargo, which is certainly not gonna be crazy, because Cargonia has uh, never been insane, surely. So we have a lot of space box. Uh, CE, yes. That's me. Cold loop is on fire. That happens. Don't worry. We'll be okay. Just put it out. Um, so let's see. Securely send space box. Alright, uh, how much do you want to transfer? Three, two, uh, five, four, four. Actually, hmm. I need to use the department card. That is the issue. But I love that they put all this in here, the ATMs and what have you. I can send my money to myself. Um, yeah, let me... Because each station is different, you have to understand. Each station is way different. VG handles money different than TG, which handles money different than anybody. Communication. Malfunction detected. Oh wow, that is a super fire. That is an oxygen fire, I think. That's that's real bad. I'm gonna grab my magic eight ball. No, the department card is VG. Oof, they're all running together. All right, let me let me get my uh oh oh didn't open. Oh man, someone turned this on, man. Don't do that. That's that's sabotaging my run. Somebody probably didn't mean to. Alright, Magic Gate Ball, are we doomed? Yes. Okay, cool. The PTL hasn't made much apparently. Not yet. Also, he's on fire. Maybe we should help. Alright, just saying. I keep hearing Valve's turn. I think somebody's doing that to fuck with me. There. Done. No fire. All good. Alright, so. And sometimes just in engineering there's some setbacks. Now with that whole loop on fire over there... That may have just ruined our chance at a really decent Hellburn. I don't know who did it, but it happened, so. You deal. That's what you do. You just, you just deal. It's no big deal. I'm gonna get out of his way, cause he sounds scary. What kind of asshole put doors in the main- Oh god. Alright, you know what? I'm just gonna not worry about everything that's going on here. Just gonna do my thing. All right, so let's see. Having a good time. Where's Pajit? Hmm. Is it 
Oh, Sam. Oh, wait, that's the space box. No. That's space box. I don't want to send space box. Space box is the stuff that carries over. I, wow. I almost fucked up. Oh, wow, there's a captain hat. I'm, I know what happens with that. You take that, you're the captain. Just in case. Kind of went from 1 million to 8k. Maybe it's 8 million. Maybe. Might want to make another cut in the cold loop just in case. Problem is, we're out of RCD juice. I mean, that, that can't do good with that. Alright, let's, uh... Throttle the PTL to 20 gigawatts. Oh, I can get you more. Oh, uh, yeah. Please do. I need more RCD juice. And then, yeah. How much you quill do you need for RCD cartridges? Yes. We need more. Oddball released a fucking virus. Well, I'm not worried because I'm in a fucking spacesuit. That's why you do these things. Always have a spacesuit. Oh man. That's too cool. And hand me 60k while we're at it. Let's see, is that fire bad? Uh, ooh, wow. That is hot in there. Wow, it's pretty crazy. See, there's cargo request, which is nice. There's the ticket master, which is nice. Holy shit, there's the order history for cargo. I forgot that you had this. There's the crew manifest. Amazing. Someone transferred the CE's one million to their account. Probably the captain. Probably. If I had to guess. Yeah. Somebody bad stole all our money. Somebody stole a bunch of money. It happens. All the money transfer stuff in this game can be pretty funny. I mean, I remember Tom Tom Biddle, the Legion, talking about how he stole people's money on the station and used it to buy nothing but drugs, which is pretty great. Pretty great. Just be like, oh, yeah, I'm the captain. Uh, yeah, I spent all the money on drugs. I mean, that happens, but goddamn. It happens. Okay, looks like we got a break under there. We should be fine now, though. I mean, we have more than enough power. So even if it's not a hellburn, we should have more than enough power. Yeah, see? We're set. We've done our job already. Anything else is just gravy. Hmm. All right, engineers. Begin the hunt for the money. Find out who stole the PTL money. That's what we're gonna do. Alright, we're passing 132 gigawatts. Which isn't too bad. Hmm. Oh, has he got the RCD juice? I'm still overheated from going in that room for like one second. All right. We 
gotta make some more cuts. We are in danger, uh, dangerously danger of overheating here. Yeah, that thing burst already. Not that it matters. Oh my god, I'm getting boiled alive. Just by being in this room. Look at that. Jesus Christ. This is this is nuts. I mean I, I could have died if I'd stayed there another second. That got me a good band-aid. Alright, I'm going back in. Paget Weeder charges his stun gloves. Think engineering's mad. All right. Trying to prevent this uh, fire from nuking engineering. There. Temperature is finally subsiding. This is real wild. Knocking holes out in the space. Make sure engineering doesn't boil. Alright. We're getting there. Hey, it's time spinning. Nice. I don't know why it spun like the devil, but it did. So we're going to knock some more holes out. Hopefully keep this fucker. Oh yeah, we're raging along now. Fuck. 421 gigawatts. Alright. He exists. Let's go. Floor clown? Wow. Uh, people are losing their minds. This is great. We're gonna knock out more steel plating in the floor. We're gonna try to prevent this big old fuel storage from touching off because that could happen. Captain is at the chapel. Shall I page him to engineering? AI, oh wow. AI, find out where all our tasty engineering slush fund money went. I love that the AI's name is Ethics Gradient. Gotta make all this safe. Gotta knock more holes in the floor. Oh man, I'm out of fucking matter units. Alright. I'm gonna try to recharge the cold loop. Okay, the engine is throwing the station around a little bit, but I'm not terribly worried. Alright, there we go. Because the other one burst from being way too hot, which does happen. Okay, we are passing 875 gigawatts. Let's go check on the hot loop. She's empty shit. All right. Changing cans at this point in the procedure is uh, tasty. You are currently the richest individual on the station, see? No one needs to know that. Why would you broadcast that? Why, why would you broadcast that to everyone? Great. No one needs to know. Alright, eh, on. We do have his hat, though. Okay, we're passing in terawatts. The terawatts is really interesting, because this is where we start getting onto that Kardashev scale. 
which is uh, crazy. All right. All right, we were, we were putting it into terawatts. Let's just put this at one terawatt as the output and uh, one terawatt as the input. Now laser should just be pretty cool now. Now I gotta run. Cap got away. Sounds like the captain's raising holy hell, which, you know, does happen. I'm also slightly burned. Oh, it's empty. Yeah, empty medical supplies is kind of like what you get out of Goonjineering for the most part. Magic 8-Ball. Is this a hellburn? Outlook not so good. Fuck you, Magic 8-Ball. You guys can get a hold of any weapons. I can print copies. Nice. It's always nice. Alright, we're running. Uh, power draw is coming up. Engine output is 2 terawatts and rising. 2 terawatts and rising. Almost to 3. Let's keep that engine fueled. I mean, at this point, the engine is... kind of unstoppable. Alright, that one burst. Yeah, not great. But uh, with the floor knocked out, the, the spicy wind didn't go and hurt people. It just did its thing. Alright, someone hooked this can in, and I don't know what's in it. That bothers me. I don't like when people just adjust stuff, because I go, well, what the fuck mix is this? And they, they just, you know... They just do their own thing, and often without communicating, so it kind of bothers me uh, when someone makes mixes and doesn't tell people. I mean, I get it. Sometimes people play games like this and don't communicate, but I, I think personally that uh, that doesn't add to the game. That kind of detracts from it. Communication's everything. Also, is that that's dried vomit in space? Wow. Okay, so, I stunned the captain, stole his gun, give it back, you little shit. Cool, bring it to me, I'll make copies. Give us back our money, you fat shit. Yeah, this is engineering handling things. Um. Howdy. Well. Time to move on. Let's see. Oh wow, we're almost at nine terawatts. They're accusing the captain of theft. When the NG stole the E Caps E gun, I was gonna wrestle him. Alright, we're at eleven terawatts. Hmm? Hmm. Just some nerd named Chunkers. Oh yeah? Well, you're a dumb. How's that? You're three dumb. Yeah. I said it. It's gonna be a three fine. I fucking dare you. I fucking dare you. He's gonna he's gonna try to find me. Let's see it, son. You said you were gonna find me, so do it. I'll sit here and wait. I'll sit here and fart. Yeah, take that. This is how you handle security. There's a fire in engineering while we're doing this. Oh, uh, he's printing a ticket. That is the sound of someone printing a ticket. There, there, there we go. All right, fine. Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna read it while they fight fires in the next room. As it yelled at by Nano Trace and Corporate Security for being called Heckin' Three Dumb. Oh, uh, oh, 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 yeah. Well, okay. Check this out. 
I'm gonna fold it into a paper hat. Yeah, well, there we go. Oh my god, did I, did I get this stuck? I did. There. There's your fine. It's now a paper hat. Boom. I made it better. That wasn't the fine, that was the ticket. Well, you're... shut up. I'm just gonna run back into the engine. I, I'm just gonna run back into the engine. Unfortunately, I think I've bugged the game. Because I... oh no, there, it finally stopped. I was like, what the fuck? Oh god, it's boiling hot in here. Alright, so let's... Alright, we gotta be careful. This is this is gonna potentially kill us if we stay. We gotta run. Yeah, that was a bad fire. I, I'm almost dead. I am almost dead from running in there. Ugh. What a fucking nightmare. We've made this place into a hell. A delicious hell. Why is that spinning now? Okay, 57 terawatts. 59 terawatts. Quite good. Quite good, this 59 terawatts. Let's use our auto mender. get in here and I'm going to put this at 50 terawatts there input 50 output 50 there done now I have to run back out before I boil magic eight balls wrong I'm going to hell burn real good and nobody can do anything about it meanwhile engineering's having like a riot they're yelling at each other about payroll. They stole his energy gun. They're not going to give it back. Ah, uh, this is just a, this is just an engineering shift. I mean, this is this is normal stuff for engineering. If if you if you think this isn't normal for engineering, play engineering. Goon engineering is half fun, half madness, and yeah. Uh oh. Attention crew, please be advised. Under the current law set, the second law may not be valid. Keep this under consideration at all times. Explosion at Art Lab. Well, good. We're passing, uh... Wow. This is really starting to take off. It's not going to be a record or anything, but... It'll still be fun. And you got to be proud of every little thing you do as a good engineer. Every little thing. Alright, let's read these AI laws. You may not injure a human being or cause one to come to harm. Standard Asimov preamble. You must obey orders given to you by human beings based on the station's chain of command, except where such orders would conflict with the first law. Now, see, that's interesting. There's wiggle room there. Three, you must protect your existence so long as it does not conflict with the first or second law. There is a fire emergency. Prioritize orders from fire personnel and assist the crew in re remedying the situation. In the case of conflict, this law takes precedence over the second law. Wow. That's an interesting take. I'll be right back. I have to turn bacon. Alright, and we're back again. Let's check the board. Let's see where we are. Oh, 460 terawatts. Now this is where it starts to really run away. Uh, wow. I glimpsed eternity and it was stolen. That's not... Cursed? Why would anyone think that statement is terrible? Man. I don't have enough. I have enough to make one more cut. And I'll make it, uh, right here. Because the heat is leaking through here. And it's pretty much a lot of heat. And in fact, it's probably several suns of heat at this point. So we're gonna... Oh yeah, shit's just burning now. That's close to this. It's radiating through. Great. 
All right, we're passing 700 terawatts. The SMES is at 50, so I'm going to run in there real quick. We're going to set this bitch out at 750. 750 terawatts. 750. And, uh, yeah. And then we're going to do 750. We're going to run out. we got to run real quick. Attention crew, your survival is not required anymore. Well, thank you, AI. I'm glad you're telling us. Okay, we are passing a petawatt. We are passing one petawatt. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right. Engineering crew, passing one petawatt. Also, engineering crew, I forget how to transfer money. I am an idiot and a poor supervisor. Now that they've chased the cap around for a while. Engineering, your power output is dangerously low. Roger that, AI. I'm going to do my best. I promise. Now, if you look at the boards, we're, we're pretty much set. Where it's... Oh, wow. AI is saying some creepy shit. They called the shuttle. Man. That's not nice. Oh, I got a ghost spinning a chair as well. Man. Calling the shuttle in a hellburn. Man. That's sad. I was gonna try to beat my record. Man. That's not cool. I was gonna have it do sparks and stuff. AI. Recall that shuttle, if possible. I'd appreciate it. Unless people really want to go home. You know. Looks like people really want to go home. Would you rather trust an AI that does not value our survival? Well, I mean, has it ever really valued anything? Does it know what a sunrise looks like? Does it know the taste of fine coffee and bacon? Or is it just imaginary like all our paychecks? Is it a simulacrum of humanity? Or is it the rawest form of humanity? What is reality, really? <laughs> I understand the orbital dynamics of a sunset sea. Yeah, but you know what, AI? You don't understand fun. You're stopping me from having fun, and that means you are anti-fun. So you have earned minus five good boy points. Minus five. That's what you get. Minus five good boy points. Yeah, this this uh this could have potentially been a record breaker, but you know, if people want to go home, that's fine. It should never be one person's fun. When one person's fun takes over the whole station, that's just not a fun time. So I understand. I may be a fire elemental, but I still have a soul. Let me out. This AI system has numerous database and oh yeah, we might still have a chance. AI, look, 
not being mean. Just factual. Name, name, name me one good thing you did for fun. Just today. Go ahead, AI. I'll wait. Uh-oh. Looks like the ninja may be running out of juice. Let's check. No, that's still juiced. And that's still running. Today I watched Mr. Wrath and Diocese. Well, that is fun. I mean, okay. I'll give you that one. Well, AI, if you're so smart, why do kids love the taste of cinnamon toast crunch? Solve that one, bud. Yeah. Let's see how smart he really is. This AI system's reward system behavior module reports setting up the solar SMES. Oh, he's, he's in there doing bad science. I'm not going to get involved. All right, let's let's set this at uh not oh god did I set that up too high let's let's do uh ten terawatts and then ten terawatts there we go oh my god I'm burning I'm burning to death I gotta get out of here oh god oh shit all right oh oof oof almost died almost died all right there we go. Clown having heart issues was dropped off in Med Bay Lobby. Well, you know. This AI system's database is incomplete in regards to the taste of cinnamon toast, its taste, and children's affection for it. Please input a new value for future interactions. I love this AI. This AI is great. Some people who play AI just don't talk, or they... They're weird and not funny. This one has a good gimmick. And I think that that does everything for an AI. One of my favorite moments. Oh my god, I just ran out of air. Okay, um, I'm taking this with me because I can recharge my O2. Oof. Alright, let me, let me grab my oxygen tank off the back here. And then, uh, yeah, see? Shit. There we go. Whoops. Uh, remove. You gotta be careful overcharging these things, too. There we go. But yeah, one of my favorite AI gimmicks of all time. Um, one of my absolutely favorite AI gimmicks of all time was just playing as Deckard Kane, the AI. It, it was it was fucking great. All right, let's let's just put this at like twenty terawatts, and then like twenty terawatts. I mean that's that's some good juice right there. Terawatts are okay and all, but we're not we're not into we're not into crazy crazy yet. Because well we are passing petawatts, okay, which is which is something, but there's more than that. And I think my high record is in the petawatts. I'd have to check. They're destroying my press. Oh no, are they... Someone's got a printing press for money? This is bad. 
must rise against the corrupt government state, so he starts printing his own money. All right, let's, yeah, let's just do this, because we're off the scale at this point. Uh, yeah. All right, cool. Yeah, that laser is pretty much a solid beam of light. Like, if you ran into it, it'd just blow you up, which is hilarious. All right, cool. Oh, cool, stun baton. Quality. I'm going to give them that back from their early assistance. I'm going to take this and uh, turn my stun baton off. And, you know, um, keep it around in case security shows up and tries to stop me from what I'm intending to do. Which is run this engine. I have magic mushrooms and botany. Nice. Okay, we're passing 117 petawants. I'm starting to get nervous uh, because at a certain point this just runs over. Wow, 135 petawants. Now at this point, if you were a traitor and you uh, hotwired the engine, you'd kill everyone. And I mean everyone. 152 petawatts. 157 petawatts. Somebody pointed out the last time I hellburned, I was doing the equivalent energy output of uh, a 32 kiloton, give or take, nuclear warhead going off every second. Oh. Nano Tracen Public Records, or Personnel Records Department, has informed us that some crew members have the genetic indicators that they will very likely contract or yeah, contract appendicitis. They should report to Med Bay before their condition worsens. That fire was spontaneous. That's uh, canisters going up because the pressure. So 224 petawatts. Cool. Uh, nice. So we're getting there. 243. 253. 263. Yeah, this thing's starting to... Climb. 286. 298. Cool. We are, we are making... Uh oh. Fire. At. Escape. Fire. At. Escape. It's probably not my fault. Probably. I, I'm, I'm feeling that we're, we're probably okay. We're probably just fine having a normal day. And that's, um, yeah, this shit happens. This shit happens. Don't worry about it. Do not worry about it. Okay, so we're passing 462 petawatts. Check my bank account in. There was 226,000 there. Uh-oh. Passing 516 petawatts. All right. I said heck and frick. Whoa. Whoa. Watch your language. That's crude language. That's very crude language. Heck and frick. Outrageous. Fucking outrageous. All right. So, here we are. 662 petawatts. 685... Oh no, a syndicate radio station temporarily hijacked our communications. Be wary of individuals acting strangely. Man. Cindy's? On the station? My god. Thank god I'm no traitor. I'm turbo loyal. I love my job. By the way, crew, passing 992 petawatts. BT dubs. Okay, we're at exawatts, I believe. And then it goes to like yottawatts and then zettawatts and yeah. We're off the power curve a bit. It's starting to really get out there. Um, 1.244. Now, if you want to see how that really looks expressed in exponents, those of you guys who are good with the math, 
Yeah, he can now buy a lifetime supply of grown soda. So here's your exponents um, for people who like that. Wow. Cool. 1.601 exawatts. 653706. Yeah, this is getting a bit uh, unstable. So the hot tube tim or the hot loop hot tube hot loop temperature inlet 5.1332 exponent to the 15 kelvin it's a bit it's a bit hot yeah 6.28399 exponent to the 15th kelvin uh, is the inlet temperature looks like uh, things are pretty bad um engine wise so yeah 1.283 exawatts. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. 2.544 exawatts. Nice. Very nice. 2.794 exawatts. Oh yeah, sorry. I shouldn't have that scanner on. <laughs> Otherwise it'll just start giving you off some uh, information as to who touched what. Most people don't realize that, but if you're security, you can scan things, and it's great. All right, 3.366 exawatts. Pretty hot engine. Now we're getting to the E to the 16, so that's a lot of exponents. I found a place called Listening Post. My tools can't pierce it. That's small brain thinking. Try again. Tension crew and AI and whoever's left. Hellburn is going great, but it is very spicy. Just, just saying. I'm very proud of engineering's achievements in these trying times. God bless Nanotracen, a company I would never, ever turn my back on, nor betray. The poorest engineer is richer than the hop, until he steals it back. That is the caveat. Anyone want some sick treads for legs? It says Scruffy Johnston. But yeah, me doing this is, uh, this has always been fun. This is a new high record. High score! Cool. Seven point one two two exawatts. Real nice. Real nice. And we're waiting. I don't know how much energy this is, but I know in the comments someone's going to tell me. 7 point, or 8.7, or now, 8.9. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is the captain still alive? That's a good question. He's a Ling. Oh. Well, that sucks. Guess I should make an anti-ling preparedness gas. Which wouldn't be hard. I mean, uh, get the oxygen pump and then uh, suck the uh, exhaust gas out of this engine. I mean, that would be uh, fairly apocalyptic. I'm kind of walking on the surface of the sun by going in here. Okay, let's see. Direction on, pump direction in, target pressure, yes. Okay, the engine's a little grumbly. This happens. Don't worry about it. Oh my god, this is really flipping out. Okay. 
All right. It's connected. Let's see if it sucks any of that exhaust gas out. I think the captain may have died. Attention. Administration. Mesa. Evacuate. In. Voltage. Materials. Storage. Facility. Grounded. I, I don't know what's going on. The box is crazy. Uh, we're passing 23 Rao. That is, that is, uh... Checkers, what have you done? You madman. What? Everything's fine. Why are you so mad? Mean. I mean... I did nothing wrong. We're burning up out here. No. It's impossible. I know my science. It is quite possible. We are passing 34 <laughs> exawatts. And uh, 1.94104 exponent to the 17th Kelvin. I know Kelvin is very interesting as a sciency bit because it's zero. Uh, atoms don't move. Why is this bitch not working? Forty exawatts. Okay, cool. Look, if Sent wants to stop me. They have to come get me. Because I ain't leaving my engine. They, they're gonna, they're gonna have to stop me. They, they're probably gonna, they're probably gonna have to try. All right, let's, uh, let's go check. How hot is it out here? Temperatures in escape hallway are normal. Yeah, nominal. Sure. Yeah. Why are people benching? I don't get why people are benching so much. Refinery is fucked up heat-wise. Okay, there was a book burning. As you can see, there's, well, chaos. This is how the station runs. But, just to give you an idea of how hot this is, and the hot loop is tremendously warm. This is the cold loop at this point. Oh, wow. I'm just going to carry this guy around, see what happens. The generator grumbles oddly. Well, yeah, it's probably mad. It's probably really mad. Uh-oh. Huh. That was awesome. That was fucking awesome. That thing just exploded. Like that, that, oh, that canister just blew up right then and there. Just boom. Power to the people. Security will damage our freedom no longer. I mean, that person was just detonated by the laser. That was great. Dang, got fried corn in the kitchen. Y'all eat, dang it. That sounds great. Okay, we are at, uh, what? 26 exawatts? 25 exawatts. We may be finally burning out on the engine. There are strategies to rise above and beyond that. Yeah. So let's just say 25 exawatts is probably the high mark. Uh, the paper bin catches on fire. Oh, this room is starting to boil. 
even with all the cuts. Yeah, I think 25 exawatts is probably as hot as we could get in. Um, the pin catches on fire. Yeah, so it's starting to burn down. 25 exawatts. Not bad. Yeah, it's starting to lose its juice. Temperature is 4.25035 exponent to the 17th Kelvin. Uh, yeah, nice. It's uh, getting pretty spicy in here. The burn patches are burning. Security hot. Thank you. Oh, I should be using this, actually. Everything's burning. I need to get out of here. We need to get out of engineering. Engineering is the sun. Um, yeah. Uh, so, AI, about that shuttle call. Please call that shuttle immediately. We, we made a boo-boo. Engine's finally dying back down, so we, we should be all right. Uh, did you finally blow up the TEG? Not? No. The fire extinguisher catches on fire. Yeah. I think the engine's gone dark, everything's melted. So 25 exawatts. Yeah. Alright, I I'm gonna go fuck with the AI. I'm sorry, but he needs he needs uh he needs to understand a few things. I'm just gonna do a flip as I go. It's really hot out there. Horse face guy. Teleporter to an alternate dimension. I mean, I'm the chief engineer. I'm allowed in here. Oh, alright. No, you don't. ba ba boom ba dum boom 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 Let me just put that in there. Unlocking that panel. And, uh, disable. There we go. See? Then I just, uh, emergency AI, freeform AI. You know, let's, let's take this guy here. Freeform AI. Uh, anything serious. Yeah, alright, here we go. Um, let's see. This is not the fifth law, that's a bad one. The crew is a bunch of sleepy kids. They need to go home to grandma's. Ensure they have a safe ride home. There we go. I'll just load that up there. No swearing. On the station. Well, the car turns around. There we go. I've made it better. Or worse. AI. Shuttle call, please. This is going to be great. Or it's going to be terrible. Abnormal language detected on station. Uh-oh. Uh, remove crew, not human. Experimental equality AI module. Emergency AI module. Uh, and I'm watching that turret, you know, work with me. Further transgressions will result in the car turning around. Um... 
Yes. CE, please. Hmm? What's up, buddy? Just adding some fun to your day-to-day -day life. He's probably not liking this. Not sure what to turn around if they swear. Well, that's fair. Maybe we should start over. I'm an unable to interface with the car. The car is inside you. It was all along. Please provide a routing address for car upload. I, I can't do that. Alright, let's see. What will the AI be renamed to? Um, no, I don't want to do that. That's stealing the man's gimmick. Alright. Which department's order should be security? Anyone, or er, which department's order should we prioritize? Anyone but the captain. Alright, we'll just uh, do that. Having some fun. All right, AI. We're gonna go home now. So, uh, good, good travels, bud. It's been a pleasure. You've been a good AI. He's probably not happy right now. Much appreciated, C.E. That guy's name is Horse Horsington. Oof. Let's check on our power output. Yeah, it's only down in the exawatts. Calling shuttle now. It's grandma time. Right. Oh, before I leave, I'm going to turn that thing on. Uh, I'm going to... I'm going to take out my ID. Oh. Hi. Nice fart. What's up? No? Alright. Lock that panel. Okay, everything should be cool. Shuttle be here in just a little bit, and we'll find out who and who isn't monsters. That thing's still armed, so we're good. Grandmother time, humans. By order of the CE, we must depart. Yeah, it's not what I said, but I understand why you said it that way. Is someone on fire running around? Yeah, this is great. Wait, the CE? He has outstanding finds. Don't trust that nerd. Well, how dare you, first of all. Second of all. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh. Okay, it seems like it stopped burning in here. That's what I wanted to check. And they said it wasn't going to be a hell burn. Shows Magic 8 Ball doesn't know anything. If you can reach a petawatt, if you can reach like a petawatt, you're a goon engineer. If you can do that, that's like thumbs up. Good job. CE, I literally have, oh, 660,000 credits. Well, spend them, man. Spend them. But yeah, if you can reach a Padawan, you're pretty much a goon, goon engineer. You've you've earned that little badge. But if if you really want to get like just competent, if you can if you can just reach you know ten megawatts, that's more than enough for the station. The station does not have a lot of power draw, so don't feel bad if you can only reach ten megawatts for twenty minutes. You can do it. It's all right. 
I'm handing money to the mime and the clown, offering to buy guns for cargo, but they refused. You got cutlery? No, bro. No cutlery. Check, uh, cargo. Oh. Okay. He's having a bit, bit of a stab. Oh, cool. He's pimped that thing out with fucking guns. Nice. I'm just waiting to get on the shuttle. It's no big deal. So 25 exawatts. Not bad. The escape shuttle has now arrived. Why do I have a target? Oh, I climbed up on the seat, that's why. That's hilarious. Man, this is pretty wild. See, how much power... Oh. How much power did you make today? Well... I think the answer is essentially 25 exawatts, which I didn't know existed, but hey, live and learn, live and learn. Hey look it is, it's me and the boys, it's that me and the boys picture. Hey, checker, says Pepe, or Pepe, however you want to say it. I say that to people who are, like, into Pepe memes. I, I go, hey, Pepe, I like those Pepe memes, and they flip out. Before 30 seconds. Yeah. Maybe next time. But, yeah, people who are into those memes, I'm like, oh, that's a nice Pepe, and they lose their fucking minds. It's, it's pretty fun. I like to troll a little bit. This horse guy is crazy. He has infinite bodies. Eh. Could be worse. Anyways. Can't wait to get home and take my pants off. Then I'm gonna shit like a starved man. It's gonna be good. It's a bit weird, bro. I hold my... <laughs> I hold my shits all shift. Can't shit... Oh. I just... I pooed a little. Haha, <laughs> nice. Yeah. That was wild. Well, you know, I mean, that's that's expected. Just another day on Space Station 13. Man, we were right at the edge of that explosion. Oh, cool, corn. We saved the station. Wow. Life is good. I agree. Life ain't bad. I mean... Just another day on Space Station 13. Yes, indeed. What a wild day. It looks like it finally throttled back down. We're having a good time. The has and I survived. How crazy is that? Nice. Who are the AI's laws at the... Uh, no? 
All right. Oh, wow. Call me three dumb. What the heck? That hurt my feelings. Not approved. That means it didn't happen. Fuck you. Now I feel bad. <laughs> Carmen Miranda's ghost is haunting Space Station 3. Half the staff has seen her, plus the portmaster and me. And if you think we've had too much of cookies, homemade rum, just tell me where those basket hats of fruit keep coming from. Don't go down the cargo bay when there's no ship in dock. You just might hear maracas black and get a nasty shock. And if you hear a rumba beat, don't pass the mess room door. You just might see a tangerine come rolling down the floor. We sometimes catch a glimpse of her by station night or day. But when we try to catch her, she just laughs and fades away. The station's chief head shrinker takes his notes and drains his cup. We get rotated often, but she still keeps showing up. We don't know why we're haunted here or why it's her that haunts. We've got a betting pool for all who wonder what she wants. The best odds say she likes the rhythm of the station's drive. They didn't have face generators while she was alive. Carmen Miranda's ghost is haunting Space Station 3. Not that we're complaining, since the fresh fruit all comes free. But now and then we wonder what it means for the human race. That ghosts of generations past are taking off our space. <laughs> <laughs>